Sophie Germain was a French mathematician born in Paris in the year 1776. From a young age, she showed an extraordinary aptitude for mathematics, a field that was largely inaccessible to women at the time. She lived from 1776 to 1831, a period marked by significant political and social upheaval in France. Despite the turbulent times, Germain's passion for mathematics never waned. Germain is known for her groundbreaking work in number theory and elasticity. Her interest in these subjects was sparked by reading the works of great mathematicians like Euler and Gauss. She corresponded with Gauss under a male pseudonym to be taken seriously. She faced significant barriers as a woman in a male-dominated field. Women were not allowed to attend universities or formal academic institutions, so Germain had to educate herself using books from her father's library. Despite these challenges, Germain made important contributions to mathematics. She won a prize from the Paris Academy of Sciences for her work on elasticity, a remarkable achievement for any mathematician, let alone a woman, in her era. Her work on Fermat's last theorem was particularly influential. She developed methods that would later be used by other mathematicians to make further progress on this famous problem. This work laid the groundwork for later mathematicians. Her correspondence with Gauss and other mathematicians of her time helped to spread her ideas and influence the field of mathematics. Germaine's story is an inspiration. She showed that with determination and passion, it is possible to overcome even the most daunting obstacles. She overcame adversity to pursue her passion. Her legacy lives on, inspiring future generations of mathematicians, especially women, to follow in her footsteps and contribute to the world of science and mathematics. As a child, I showed a strong interest in learning. I was particularly drawn to mathematics. Sophie Germain was born in Paris in 1776. Her family was wealthy. Germain spent hours in her father's library. She read books by famous mathematicians. At the age of 13, Germain read a book about Archimedes. She was fascinated by his work. Germain decided to pursue mathematics. I faced many obstacles in my pursuit of mathematics. At the time, women were not allowed to attend university. My parents did not approve of my studies. They tried to discourage me, but I was determined. I taught myself by reading books. I even disguised myself as a man. This allowed me to attend lectures at the Ecole Polytechnique. Sophie Germain faced many obstacles in her pursuit of mathematics. Lagrange was impressed by her insights. He became her mentor. Germain also corresponded with Carl Friedrich Gauss, another leading mathematician. Gauss praised her work on number theory. Sophie Germain began corresponding with prominent mathematicians. She used the pseudonym Mime Leblanc to hide her identity. Germain sent her work to Joseph-Louis Lagrange, a famous mathematician. Sophie Germain made significant contributions to number theory. This branch of mathematics studies the properties of numbers. Germain was particularly interested in prime numbers. These are numbers that are only divisible by one and themselves. She developed a theorem known as Germain's Theorem. This theorem is still used today. It helps mathematicians understand prime numbers. Section 6, Elasticity, the science of bending surfaces. Sophie Germain also made important contributions to the field of elasticity. Elasticity is the study of how materials deform under stress. Germain's work on elasticity was inspired by a competition. The French Academy of Sciences offered a prize for explaining Cladney figures. These figures are patterns formed by vibrations on a plate. Germain's work on elasticity helped to lay the foundation for modern engineering. Section 7, Fermat's Last Theorem, a century-long puzzle. Fermat's Last Theorem is one of the most famous problems in the history of mathematics. It has intrigued and puzzled mathematicians for over three centuries, becoming a symbol of mathematical challenge and perseverance. Sophie Germain is perhaps best known for her work on Fermat's Last Theorem. Born in 1776, Germain was a pioneering female mathematician at a time when women were rarely involved in the field. Despite facing significant societal barriers, she pursued her passion for mathematics with relentless determination. This theorem was proposed by Pierre de Fermat in 1637. Fermat, a French lawyer and amateur mathematician, scribbled a note in the margin of his copy of an ancient Greek text. 
claiming he had a proof that was too large to fit in the margin. This enigmatic note sparked centuries of mathematical exploration. It states that there are no three positive integers, a, b, and c, that can satisfy the equation a to the power of n plus b to the power of n equals c to the power of n for any integer value of n greater than 2. This deceptively simple statement resisted proof for hundreds of years, challenging the greatest mathematical minds. Germain made significant progress on this problem. She developed sophisticated techniques and laid down foundational work that would be crucial for future mathematicians. Her correspondence with other mathematicians of her time, including Carl Friedrich Gauss, highlights her significant contributions. Her work paved the way for later mathematicians. Germain's efforts were instrumental in advancing the field and her legacy is remembered as one of perseverance and brilliance. It wasn't until 1994, over 350 years after Fermat's original note, that British mathematician Andrew Wiles finally proved the theorem, building on the work of Germain and many others. Fermat's last theorem remains a testament to the enduring human spirit of inquiry and the collaborative nature of mathematical discovery. Section 8. Legacy Inspiring Generations Sophie Germain's work was not fully appreciated during her lifetime, However, her contributions to mathematics are now widely recognized. She is considered one of the most important female mathematicians in history. Germain's story is an inspiration to aspiring mathematicians everywhere. Section 9. Conclusion, the enduring impact of a mathematical pioneer. Sophie Germain's life and work are a testament to the power of perseverance. Born in 1776 in Paris, Sophie faced societal norms that discouraged women from pursuing education, especially in fields like mathematics. Despite these barriers, she was determined to follow her passion. She educated herself using her father's library, delving into the works of great mathematicians like Euler and Newton. Her dedication was so intense that she would study late into the night, often by candlelight, while her family slept. Despite facing significant obstacles, she made groundbreaking contributions to mathematics. Sophie Germain's journey was not an easy one. She had to adopt a male pseudonym, Monsieur Leblanc, to correspond with famous mathematicians of her time, such as Carl Friedrich Gauss. Her work was initially met with skepticism, but her persistence paid off. She made significant strides in number theory, particularly with her work on Fermat's last theorem. Her insights laid the groundwork for future mathematicians to build upon. Her work on number theory, elasticity, and Fermat's last theorem continues to influence mathematicians today. In addition to her contributions to number theory, Sophie Germain also made important advances in the field of elasticity. Her work on the theory of elasticity earned her recognition and respect in a male-dominated field. She was awarded the prestigious Paris Academy of Sciences Prize for her essay on the subject, a remarkable achievement for a woman in her era. Sophie Germain's legacy is an inspiration to all who dare to challenge conventions and pursue their passions. Her story is a powerful reminder that determination and hard work can overcome even the most daunting obstacles. She broke through the barriers of her time, paving the way for future generations of women in science and mathematics. Her legacy lives on in the many scholars who continue to be inspired by her work and her story. Her story reminds us that brilliance can emerge from unexpected places and that the pursuit of knowledge is a journey worth undertaking, regardless of the obstacles. Sophie Germain's life is a testament to the idea that passion and perseverance can lead to extraordinary achievements. Her contributions to mathematics have left an indelible mark on the field and her story continues to inspire those who face challenges in their own pursuits. In celebrating her legacy, we honor the enduring impact of a true mathematical pioneer.